Hello and welcome to Meet the Beat. Today we show you how to make pigs in a blanket, homemade. These are very delicious to eat on the go or to have uh, at home in the freezer or whatever you prefer. We start out by looking at the ingredients for these pigs in a blanket, very classic ingredients. We start by taking some yeast and this is fresh yeast. You might as well use dry yeast. And you put that into some warm milk, just lukewarm milk. And um, in another big bowl, you take some soft butter and you incorporate that into flour. It's very important that the butter is nice and soft so that the process is easier. Now we put salt and sugar into the mixture along with one egg. And finally we pour in the mixture of yeast and milk. This mix is going to be well incorporated and um, when it's uh, a little more sticky or when you can actually call it a dough, you uh, put it into a floured surface and you start by kneading it. And here it takes a little bit of time because you want a very elastic and homogeneous dough and that is best obtained through kneading for a couple of minutes uh, and remember to have some flour on your hands and um, yeah, just so that it won't stick too much. This is the perfect dough you uh, you will have after having kneaded, kneaded it. Let it then rise for one hour with a um, tea towel on top. And uh, after that you can actually just pour out the dough onto the table surface and then cut it into four pieces. These four pieces are each going to make around eight pigs in a blanket. So, um, so this dough is for around 32 pigs in a blanket. Of course, it depends on how big you make them. But here we just uh, we make all these four bowls, balls into round shapes. And then we can uh, start by um, sort of making it very nice and flat. It's very important that each piece of dough is very, very thinly rolled out. Uh, so that these pigs in a blanket won't be too bready. We don't want the bread to play the main part. It's very important that both the sausage and the bread part are uh, playing equal parts, so to speak. What we do now is we just take a knife and make a round circle so that we have a more even dough piece. And uh, we just get rid of the excess dough and then we place our um, sausages. We use brunch sausages. We place them around the edges of this piece of dough and as you can see we made around seven out of this uh, lump of dough. What we do now is we square, uh, we triangle actually this uh, round piece of dough. Uh, yeah we cut it into triangles and then we can roll these uh, pigs in a blanket from the out towards the center so that we get these small croissant like shaped pigs in a blanket very very easy and very very uh, practical we let these rise for another 30 minutes and uh, after that you'll see that they have become a lot bigger in size then we can actually just coat them with a uh, uh, egg with an egg and then just pour on a little bit of sesame seeds and these are going into the oven for 20 minutes at 390 degrees fahrenheit that is 200 degrees c and after that you'll have these beautiful golden pigs in a blanket. They are delicious. They have a nice crunchy outside, a very nice and fine layer of dough, not too much. We do not want them too bready, as I said before. And we're going to serve them up with a little bit of um, barbecue sauce. This one has a bit of honey and chipotle in it. And of course, some uh, Heinz ketchup on the side as well, just for dipping. You can use any kind of dipping sauce that you like and then just dig in and taste these delicious small uh, pigs in their blankets. They are perfect for freezing actually. Uh, they make a perfect big batch so that you can actually put some of them in the freezer and have them for any occasion that calls for a pig in a blanket. Um, you can also of course use different kinds of sausages. We use natural tasted ones here but you could buy some that has cheese in them or whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to Meet the Beat here on YouTube and find us on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.